Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like to deliver the Dharma message. Um, I'd like to relate a story, uh, something that happened to me recently. Um, I was asked to participate in the Northwest District Obon service. Uh, they do something really nice up there where for special services, the ministers from the different temples get together on Zoom uh, and do the service together. Uh, and so this time they asked uh, representatives from all the BCA districts uh, because of Zoom, we're able to do that. So it's almost like a BCA Obon service. So try and watch that. I'll try to put the information in uh, on the, in the YouTube instructions. We'll have it on the website. Anyway, my assignment was to read the Gobunsho. No problem. Gobunsho are the letters of Renyo Shonin, the um, eighth descendant of Shinran, abbot of our school. Uh, he's the one who really made Jodo Shinshu into a major Buddhist school in Japan uh, during medieval times. Problem is, I've never done this one before. There's a whole bunch of them. We only usually do three or four. This is the fourth one that I've never done called Shinjin Yakutoku no Shou. Uh, and uh, partly it was embarrassing because I didn't start practicing until only a day or two before. Uh, didn't think to ask anyone uh, some of the questions that I had. Uh, but it was good too because A, it knocked down my ego a little bit uh, and maybe just a little um, and um, also it helped me understand again uh, my students' feelings when they have to learn this stuff. I haven't felt this way in a long time uh, because, you know, I've been a minister now over 10 years, actually going on 15 uh, and, you know, I usually there's not kind of new stuff to do so it, that was a good experience too, probably good for my brain. Um, should I read it to you? I'm not sure. Yeah, let's read it to you. Uh, of course, I took out my, uh, here it is, my bookmark. Attaining the entrusting heart lies in understanding the 18th vow. To understand this vow means to understand what Namo Amida Butsu is. And so when one takes refuge, that is Namo, in Amida in one thought moment, making aspiration and directing virtue is implied. This means that Amida Tathagata directs virtue to us, foolish beings. This is taught in the larger sutra as bringing all sentient beings to the attainment of virtues. So it follows that all the karmic evil and blind passions which we have given rise to since the beginningless past are completely extinguished by the inconceivable vow power. Hence, we dwell in the stage of non-retrogression, the stage of the truly settled. This is the meaning of the statement, we attain nirvana without severing blind passions. This teaching is unique to our tradition and so should not be discussed with followers of other schools. This we should carefully bear in mind, humbly and respectfully. So it's an interesting letter for a few different reasons. The one thing that caught me first was when it says this teaching is unique to our tradition and so should not be discussed with followers of other schools. Wow, right, that's kind of intense. Right? But Jodo Shinshu is very different than many other kinds of Buddhism because other kinds of Buddhism, maybe we do practices and try and get better and better at the practices, right? And whether it's meditating or, um, or what, right? You want to do it again and again and again so you get better and better and better, maybe even becoming perfect at it, right? Being a really good meditator of whatever kind of meditation or, you know, not Jodo Shinshu. Jodo Shinshu isn't about being skilled. Uh, it's not about being an expert. It's not even about being good, right? You would also, I think, in other kinds of Buddhisms, right, to try and follow the precepts, right, that there are these kind of rules that you should follow. We don't have them in Jodo Shinshu. Even as a minister, I don't have, I never took precepts. That's really different than most other schools of Buddhism. Most other schools of Buddhism, there's a code, right, a monastic code or a code of precepts of these kind of rules that you follow, right? And if you don't follow, you confess uh, your fault uh, and try again. Jodo Shinshu, we don't, that's not the path. Right? And the path is much more about awakening this entrusting heart or entrusting mind, Shinjin. Right? But Shinjin is intimately connected to Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu. So that's why it says attaining the trusting heart. Entrusting heart lies in an understanding the 18th vow. To understand this vow means to understand what Namo Amida Butsu is. Right? And so we, we say Namo to entrust or, in, or take refuge in the Buddha. Uh, and in the one thought moment that we say that and also have Shinjin, that, well, that this entrusting mind, entrusting in the Buddha is awakened in us, boom, that we, we're brought to aspire for the Pure Land. 
uh, and that the directing virtue uh, actually means that Amida Buddha directs the virtue to us. Right, this, this positive spiritual energy of Buddhism, this virtue uh, is, or kudoku, uh, is not something I'm trying to generate so I can give it to others, although that would be great. Instead, I'm the recipient, right, that it comes actually uh, from Amida Buddha. Uh, and really interesting, right? I mean, that's Jodo Shinshu. That's why I'm not better than you just because I'm a minister. Right? That, that it's not uh, that some people are better than others, right? And ranked, right? So that we have a hierarchy kind of, right? It's equal, equal playing field. Amida Buddha accepts everyone as they are because it's not each person's um, effort that makes it happen. It's Amida Buddha that makes it happen. We're awakened by awakening itself, the, the Buddha reality that's always all around us. Uh, and so what do we do? One, Say the Nembutsu. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu. Uh, we want to recite the Nembutsu. Two, reflect. Reflect on myself, whether it's as a foolish being who has uh, given rise to karmic evil and blind passion since the beginningless past. Right? That's pretty intense, huh? And that's Shinran's deep insight into himself. Uh, he sees um, whether we understand just this lifetime or countless lifetimes since the beginningless past. I mean, that, that's one aspect of Buddhism that I don't like when people just kind of write off meditation. I mean, I mean not write meditation, reincarnation, right? A lot of people are like, how could someone believe in reincarnation now? And it's like, well, maybe it's a deep insight into reality, right? That, that actually um, we're, I'm kind of responsible for eons of activity, of action, right? And a lot of it, not good. A lot of it harmful. Um, evil is a word that we don't like, but I'll, I'll call it harm, karm, harmful karma. Karma that harmed others, right? Whether through eating animals or getting in fights or killing people or stealing from people or making people feel bad by saying mean things, right? That's all this harmful karma, karmic harm. Right? Uh, and the blind passions, the, um, the defilements, basically the three poisons all over the place. Uh, so that's one aspect, is to reflect on myself. Uh, another, I think, is to reflect on Buddha Dharma, to reflect on, measure myself against these Buddhist values. That's what I've been trying to talk about recently and going to keep talking about. What, what are the values that we have as Buddhists? Right? Because each system has its own values. Christianity has so many, there's so many different kinds of Christianity. Right? And uh, different Christians believe different things and have different sets of values. Right? And then we have American values, whatever those are. There's actually multiple sets. Right? And so I think it's really important to understand what are Buddhist values. And so I've been talking about it a lot, but to sum it up, I would say one set is wisdom and compassion, seeing things as they truly are, and then compassion. The other set as the three poisons, the negative side. Right, so the positive side is the highest possible goal. Do I really see things as they are, or do I only see one tiny facet, and even that not clearly? Am I really compassionate? Am I really helping others selflessly? Or um, am I really protecting myself most of the time and just doling out a little bit of, of lip service? I don't know. You can actually be really compassionate, and yet it's still limited. Right? Um, and it's, the point isn't to judge others, only to look at myself. Right? And so uh, with, with this set of wisdom and compassion as the ultimate goal, and then the other side of the three poisons of greed, anger, and ignorance uh, as the, the bottom, the baseness right, of, of, of uh, animal existence, right? although humans are some of the worst animals. <laughs> right? So I hate it. I don't know. A lot of times human beings seem to think we're so great. We're so amazing. We've created such amazing things. Look at civilization. Look at art. Look at science. Look at where we are. Look how much hatred and anger there is. Right? Look how we've destroyed the planet, completely out of balance. Right? And then we, 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 and yet we hold ourselves above animals. I'm more important than a chicken or a, or a cow. Right? Really? Uh, the three poisons are symbolized even by animals, uh, and yet. Uh, maybe human beings are, are the best at uh, uh, using those to, for harm, right? Um, and so 
The other value that I like is the middle way. I'm going to leave that to a future talk. I haven't talked about it much yet uh, this summer, um, but I'm, I would include that too, right? So that we have the highest goal, the ultimate highest goal, the ultimate low of the three poisons. So wisdom and compassion, the three poisons, we're somewhere in the middle. It'd be great if we could just go warrant and go up to the top and become Buddhas right away on our own effort. Uh, but Shinran uh, thinks, at least for himself, that that wasn't possible. And I have to agree because, uh, you know, thinking back to my opening story about reading the Gobuncho, right? Um, I flubbed the first time. I asked if I could start over and it was fine. I knew, you know, that that was an option open to us. But, you know, um, I think I was one of the only people to do that. And so when um, at the end, you know, after the thing ended and we're talking, I said, um, actually, I asked a question about the Gobun show because, like I said, I didn't practice, right? And I, met, I also said, you know, I'd like to ask a question because I've never done this before. So I realized, wait, even in trying to put myself down, I'm actually lifting myself up, right? I'm being arrogant and kind of boasting that look how good I did it, even though I'd never done it before. Right? And then afterwards, uh, when uh, we were talking after on Zoom before, you know, before we all left, and um, or no, it was an email, and I emailed and I said, I think I was the only one that flubbed. I'm even bragging there. I'm even bragging that I'm the only one that screwed up. Right? So, so even in my foolishness, I'm, tr I'm turning it around into arrogance. Right? Uh, but at the same time, you're supposed to be yourself. At, at one sense, we want to be better. We want to improve. We want to improve our lives. Uh, we want to be a good person. We want to try to help others. Right? We want to be the best that we can. Um, but we also want to become our foolish selves. That's a really hard balance to, to, to meet. Right? I'm almost 50, and I'm still boasting and bragging like, a, like a, I'm an eighth grade or something. Right? Um, that's me. <laughs> Uh, and that's part of the Shinshu life too, right? But that, that if I can truly become myself, maybe then I won't do it so much. It's when I'm trying to control and manipulate um, that these this, the poisons come out, right? Uh, so I want to thank you very much. Uh, thinking, you know, at this Shotsky time, uh, this memorial service time, thinking about the um, loved ones whose names I read at the beginning of the service. Uh, we can think about them as having been born in the Pure Land already, having become Buddha already. That they're part of that wisdom and compassion energy. They're part of that awakening energy, Buddhist, Buddha energy uh, that's all around, Buddha reality. They're part of that. They want us, they're like Amida Buddha in a way, wanting us to awaken, right? Embracing us because we're foolish beings. Uh, it's, it is, it's really different than a lot of kinds of Buddhism, but um, I've really grown to appreciate it. Um, it's a path for me. Uh, I hope that uh, you uh, gain some solace uh, if you've lost a loved one. You know, again, with this list, it could be someone this past this past year. It could be someone that passed 50 years ago you maybe never even met, right? and yet still part of our lives, right? Still an active part of our life, uh, try, part of that, again, uh, that wisdom and compassion. So let's close. Thank you, everyone. Uh, like I say, we want to try to say the Nembutsu on our daily life. Uh, so here's one opportunity. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 OK, announcements. Say the Nembutsu. Um, don't just wait for me to do it, right? Just say it in your daily life. Uh, check out the website. Uh, I think I'm going to try to keep doing Dharma talks through August before the um, Dharma school year begins again in September. Uh, we won't be having service in person, unfortunately. We're going to wait till the end of the year before we um, even think about opening again. We don't know when we will open again. Uh, but go to the website and uh, get on the email list. Please email uh, officebco at gmail.com if you want to get on a mailing list. Uh, but the website is there too. Uh, I'd like to do one Zoom service, a live service, a month maybe, starting this fall. We might even do a practice one uh, in uh, kind of a trial run in August. So uh, get on the email list if, you, if you're interested in that. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon, uh, even if it is on Zoom or you know, just on the internet. Um, but really want to thank you for your support. So we'll conclude uh, our Shotsuki Hoyo monthly memorial service and adult Dharma service with Gashou. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. 
ナモアミタブツナマンダブツナマンダブツ